Live from the studios of Coefficient Media in downtown Jackson, Michigan, in our new studio. Don't mind the construction. This is the... Oh, wait, no. We have a sponsor this week. What the freak? (laughs) Okay. The Android Tech Show, number 70, take 3, 5, 4, 3, 2... Live from the studios of Coefficient Media in downtown Jackson, Michigan. Don't mind the construction. We're in a new studio. Today's episode is brought to you by GoToMeeting, your place for online collaboration. All right, folks, this is the Android Tech Show, episode number 70. This week, we are going to be reviewing the LG Lucid by Verizon Wireless. This is a slick phone. This is the Android Tech Show. Every week we bring you the latest news in Android-based technology. To join the conversation and watch live, visit theandroidtechshow.com. Now, let's start the show. All right, I got to unlock all my devices now. Oh, hi, everybody. Yeah. (laughs) Are you using a passcode now? Yes, I am. Oh. But I, I encrypted uh, everything, you know, because I have ice cream sandwich now, so I can encrypt my device. You're, you're crazy. This is, this is the Android Tech Show today, and I am Dave. And I am Lane, still. Still, still, that's good. That's great. <laughs> um, and we have a lot of stuff going on today. We have a lot of people in the audience. We almost have, like, a studio audience now, too. Yeah, let's uh, get a shot on the producers. Come producer on. Cam. Look at that. Corey over there, and... Uh, Jake. <laughs> oh, thanks. Crazy. I feel really special. Forgetting my name, man. Hey, I've, it's been a long day. <laughs> it's been a long day. And Neil Neil over there, we don't have him on camera, but he's no. he's the one. If you see him in the background doing construction work. Do not be is, alarmed. <laughs> he is like the the muscle behind this studio here. So um, it's awesome stuff. Yeah, and, so we have a sponsor this week. Uh, it is GoToMeeting. Yeah. With HD faces. HD faces, these people are the masters of collaboration. Uh, no matter where you are, no matter who you have to meet with, uh, you can use GoToMeeting to do online collaboration. Of course, face to face with your desktop computer or your iDevice. They don't have an Android app yet. Uh, I don't really like to bring that up too much, but it kind of sucks, guys. Come on, you know <laughs> you're sponsoring the Android show. Let's get an Android app. Um, but if you're at work, you can really get a lot of work done and get you know the kind of communication that you just can't get over the phone because yeah, totally. a lot of communication is nonverbal. So like getting everyone together for a meeting can seem like an impossible task. It's so hard. But you do yeah. have the solution. With GoToMeeting with HD faces, you can get that same kind of interaction that you have in those live meetings. And you can, you can meet with your team and be face-to-face when you're online no matter where you are. And it only takes seconds. It's so easy. So GoToMeeting by Citrix allows you to collaborate on files and plans. And, oh, dude, this isn't part of the commercial, but they just bought the project management software thing that we use, yeah. Podio. Holy moly, we run this whole business on that thing. And now we uh, were... Yeah, but we you know couldn't be in better hands. You yeah, know? it's yeah. cool. It's super cool. Um, so if you want to participate on the go, this is a perfect thing for you. And we just love GoToMeeting because it's so simple, it's so fast, and it really gets that personal connection together. So you can start hosting your own face-to-face meetings online today with GoToMeeting. And not only that, you get unlimited meetings that you can host so you can be like the rock star of your company. (laughs) And uh, if you sign up now, you get a free 30 days. So don't wait. This is a special offer. It was at gotomeeting.com. Click on the Try It Free button and use the promo code PODCAST. That's right. It's an excellent way to support the show and try out this uh, product. You know, for a lot of our viewers, I think you're, you know, technologically advanced, and there's probably a lot of entrepreneurs out there that are freelancing totally. it. Uh, this is a great way to extend your reach out to customers uh, because you can host the meetings yourself for free for 30 days. Yep. Go to meeting.com. Click on the Try It Now button and enter the code PODCAST. That says it all right there. All right. On, on with the show. What so we this uh, week we are reviewing the LG Lucid. Wow. Uh, they, they, Verizon has been 
advertising for this phone like mad. Uh, it's a little bit less than a month old. It was released towards the end of last month, mm -hmm. um, but I just checked the date and it hasn't even been out for quite a month. Uh, but I see commercials for it all the time. Of course, I watch a lot of uh, Hulu Plus and yeah. their, their sponsors on there, but it's on regular TV too, right, Jake? I mean, you said you saw it on there. I watch it on Hulu Plus. <clears throat> see, I don't, I don't this even is. Have regular yeah, I mean, totally uh, right. So, yeah. um, but you know, I've been seeing the commercials for it, and I'm like, uh, this is pretty cool. So let's get into some specs on this. We'll get a, a yeah. fancy view of it right so here this thing on has the gadget cam. The first thing you want to think about when you come with a phone like this is the screen. Four inch screen on this bad boy. That's right. Not bad. Uh, it's a 480p resolution. So you know, it's. It's not crazy, but you know it, it shows you what you need to yeah, see. Yeah, a lot of newer phones are coming with 720p, so that's kind of a mark against it. Yeah, yeah, but it is 233 pixels per inch, so you you kind of it's pretty tight. Yeah, uh, in the four inch, I mean that's kind of like the new minimum. This you know, yeah, it's you know bigger than the iPhone. Yeah, but it does. But use that's not the, saying much. The IPS LCD, so that's nice. Yeah, which is what this, that's the same thing the iPad uses yeah. and the iPhone, right? Yeah. So the viewing angle on this, I mean, I'm viewing it from a sharper angle here, and it's it's actually like it doesn't have that color oh, yeah. distortion. The, the color, the brightness is pretty solid throughout the spectrum. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah. Uh, now, one of the other things I know, Dave, that you're always obsessed about the camera. Uh, the back camera on this thing is a five megapixel camera, uh -huh. and it has a 1080p HD video recording and an LED flash. Nice. Uh, some of the let's talk about the ports. Well, I guess the front camera on here is another mark against it. It's a 0.3 megapixel. Ooh. It's a VGA camera, um, but it does do video calling. So there's that. Okay. Um, but as far as ports go, we have a micro USB. Uh, charging port right here, uh, which you know you can use it to hook up to the computer or whatever. That's your standard charge port now. Uh, the top What's left on the side, though. Yeah, it's a little bit different being there on the side. You'd think That's it was like for Grady. yeah for a dock or something. But if you're typing in it in landscape mode, it goes down on the bottom. It's not so bad, mm -hmm. and your finger can kind of wrap around it mm -hmm. uh, when you're typing in portrait mode. So uh, on the top left edge, though, we have a volume rocker. Uh, it's it's pretty well placed. You can't really see it from the front, uh, which is kind of nice. I don't like uh, the volume marker sticking out. Uh, the headset jack is on the top, uh, and we have a wake lock button on the top right edge. I kind of so, like that. Yeah, this is it's like very circular, very small, uh, and there's this weird other button. That, it, it looks like a button. It's not really a button. It's almost a design accent. Yeah, uh, but when you we we talked about this before about whether you know this was kind of like a vestigial camera button maybe and uh -huh. then when they started testing it realizing that you would hit both buttons at the same <laughs> time turn your phone off when you take a photo yeah and so that would just kind of be ridiculous so yeah. um it has a, a micro sd port inside here let me just oh go boy. ahead pop Scoop this uh, hold on i'm trying to get the cover off i know it's off camera we're just gonna grunt uh -oh. and there we go oh yeah <laughs> so oh. Uh, <laughs> Here's the micro SD. You don't have to take the battery out to get to it, which is nice. Uh, other phones like the Evo or whatever, you got to take the battery out. So, uh, but that holds up to a 32 gig card. Uh, and even though I had a little bit of trouble getting this back cover off, uh, it's really fairly easy to pop that off. Uh, I mean, it doesn't come off on accident or whatever, but uh, at least you don't have to fight it a lot. Yeah. So, uh, what else do we got on here for wireless connectivity? Uh, this is a 4G phone. It operates on Verizon's 4G LTE network or whatever, LTE 4G, however they say it. Nice. Uh, it comes with Wi-Fi uh, N support, so it does B, G, and N, mm -hmm. and has Bluetooth 3.0, does DNLA streaming or DLNA cool. streaming uh, over your Wi-Fi network to uh, supported TVs or other devices, and, of course, GPS. Yeah. Uh, now, for the geeks out there, uh, what this kind of has power does this thing have? Yeah, a 1.2 gigahertz uh, dual core processor. Okay. Now it's a little bit downscale from the uh, 1.5 gigahertz dual processor that we had on the LG Spectrum that we reviewed. Uh, but the LG Spectrum was supposed to be a little bit more higher end phone, a little larger screen. Uh, this thing though has one gig of RAM, 
uh, whereas the Spectrum, I think, only had 768 yeah. uh, or 512. Uh, so, like, there is, like, no lag in this thing. Uh, it switches apps really well, and uh, we'll talk about uh, some of that here in a minute. Uh, but it also has 8 gigs of internal storage, which okay. is uh, pretty good, yeah. uh, you know, especially when you can expand it an extra uh, 32 gigs if you want to with SD cards. Yeah. So uh, some notable things to uh, oh gosh, this close up here. I, this is one thing that I thought was cool is like just the feel of this phone. Oh, like, yeah. I was never a big fan of LG phones because they just didn't feel right to me. But this phone, they did something to it. They like the back of it, I think, just like the way that that kind of the, the be- bezel on there kind of yeah, the contour, fades, the contour. And it's not totally smooth either. There is still a little bit of angularity so you can get your grip. Um, but even, like, it kind of comes up to, like, the side here, and then it's, like, just a different... It, in the design, it almost seems like a Sony device in its design. Yeah, the S-Tablet. Yeah. Like it does it. it. But, it, it you know, it's it's kind of cool. It's, like, a very uh, visually appealing design. Yeah. Uh, it feels good in the hand. Uh one of the bad things, though, this app drawer is horrible. <laughs> I mean, they, they split up the apps by category, <laughs> and they put your downloaded apps down here on the bottom. Oh, uh, I'm yeah. very used to having an alphabetical listing. Yeah. Uh, you go in the app drawer to flip through and find an app. Uh, I use my home screen to organize apps. Yeah. I don't use the app drawer for that. No, I mean, I, I like having that option, though. I mean, if Yeah, you, it would be an you, option, but it would be, it would be good. But you can't, like, flip or do something that turns it off. You, oh, that's right. So it's not an option. You can customize it, though, right? <laughs> uh, you can, I think you can drag stuff around here. No, let's go down. I think we looked and saw you could, there were some very basic customizations you can do to it. but You can it, minimize this stuff like that okay. and hide stuff, but I don't know. Yeah. It's not good. Yeah, it's, it's not good. They really should have done something else with that. I actually kind of like the idea but I don't like the actual implementation of it. There you go. Like if you could have like a, a, a like two different kinds of lists, if you could do alphabetical list and then switch over to like your kind of category list. Yeah, which some cool. phones do that. Uh, I've seen implementations of that, and they, they, it, it's been done well. But LG just, they're almost there. They've, okay. done, they're, they've come a long way on this uh, phone, Good. especially on their customizations. Uh, one very positive note is this camera app uh, that they have customized here. Uh, it opens very fast, and you can see there's some uh, inspiration here from maybe, uh, you know, an eye device. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it switches very quickly between camera mode and video mode. Okay. I don't know if you see that. Uh, that's one of my gripes that I have with uh, eye devices. Everything. You know, they yeah. you know, it just takes forever. And, yeah, even on my uh, Android phone, it takes quite a long time. Uh, but, you know, the the camera app... It's pretty solid. They also have uh, a very good settings menu here, uh, some filters that you can apply. Uh, this is just very well thought out, very well designed. You do not see this all the time. I mean, a lot of times the camera app is the first thing that gets customized when yeah. you have a, uh, you know, a manufacturer that wants to apply their own stink on Android or whatever, mm-hmm. their own variation, uh, and they don't do it well. This is a very good implementation. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, camera is not really that good. <laughs> so uh, the focusing in, for near stuff isn't too good, you know, in my testing. And, yeah, 5 megapixels is, is kind of on the lower is end. Is it tap to focus, too? Yeah. yeah it good. says it is, but it just doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't take very clear pictures up close. I see. So even if it, it says it, you know, that it did. Yeah. But, I mean, the the speed and responsiveness of the yeah. app is horrible is like really good though that's what makes me uh upset that it's not uh you know up to par with the hardware yeah so well, you know hopefully lg will come out with a higher end device and kind of it's like any uh, cure recipe. that it's like any recipe if you throw one bad ingredient in there it can mess it up yeah and they have a non-standard button order menu home and then back and then oh, search. That'll freak you out. So it's a little a little different, but you know, different manufacturers have been doing that kind of stuff too. And the buttons don't stay lit up as long as I would like them to, but what are you gonna do about that? Uh, the one good thing though they've implemented, they have the notification shortcuts up here. Nice. Uh, which uh, Samsung did, uh, some custom ROMs like CyanogenMod also do, uh, but they uh, let you customize these so you can change 
uh, what are up here, and you can also uh, add like you know if you can include so many that they let you swipe between them. So oh, cool. you can just jump right into settings and stuff like that. Oh wow! So that's that's very cool. Uh, even the Samsung devices, which LG borrows a lot from, you know, as far as the design is concerned, uh, Samsung devices don't let you customize. So yeah. uh, solid plus on that. So this next one though, like. This is what I can see a lot of smartphones getting into more is the gesture kind of stuff. So what kind of gestures does this phone integrate into its system? Oh, well, this one, it's a little bit hard to uh, get here. Uh, they've got some of these handy reminders. Okay. So let's open up our texting here. Uh, so we type some stuff, type, 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 type. you know, blah, blah, blah. It's supposed to make it so that when you tap on each side of the phone, <laughs> it's supposed to move the cursor. That's cool. And I've got it to move before, but it's just not doing it right now. Right. Yeah. Did it do it? No? Yes? No, it's not doing it. I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's flick it right out. <laughs> um, but I, I did get it to work earlier, so I don't know what the you issue is. Uh, but if you go into your settings, <laughs> here and then you have uh, gesture this is where everything is located to uh, set this up uh, so one of the cool things that you have the relocate item when you're on your home screen uh, you can hold down like you're gonna move something but if you're gonna move it to other screens uh, instead of uh, holding it over to the edge of the screen which can be kind of sketchy sometimes uh, you just hold your finger on there and you tilt the phone like that and it'll go to the next screen Whoa. so that was cool uh, it does have some uh, flip settings uh, so that if a call is coming in, you can just take your phone and turn it face down uh, and it'll <laughs> mute the call. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. That's like what you do on a business meeting. Uh, no, no, no. I mean, like a call is coming in and it's ringing, ringing or whatever. You just turn the phone down. Exactly. Yeah, okay. All right. Sorry, I misunderstood. Uh, so you can do the same action for snoozing uh, your alarm. Uh, you can pause That's video. Dangerous. That is dangerous for me. Yeah. Uh, you can pause the video by doing that just by putting that down. That's cool. And uh, this previous next or whatever, uh, I don't know, that, to move to other items. That's Again, that's that tapping with the gestures, and the move cursor is also supposed to do that when you're tapping. It's supposed to... Uh, make it so you don't like it. Say if you touched on your text message, you know, when you're typing it out yeah, yeah. and it just wasn't in the right spot, you just tap and it's supposed to bump it over. And it did again when I tested it at home, it worked fine, but of course, you know, uh, it's the perennial thing that happens on the show. Results may vary. Yeah, nothing ever works out whenever we get to the actual show. Uh, the other cool thing I like, they have a stock like dial pad widget on here huh. that just seems to make sense. I mean, an Android phone, you have widgets. And I just, I haven't seen this on any other uh, phone where you just swipe over to the other screen and then boom, you're, you know, dialing, it's you're like going to make a phone. call. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it does, it right? It makes sense. And I just, I can't believe I haven't ever seen that yeah. um, before. You know, some people, uh, you just expect the, you click on the phone to go into the dial pad or whatever, but uh, it's a no, widget. you swipe wow. and you're there. Huh. So, I don't know, it's uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, this is a is a quote unquote mid range phone, uh, but with a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor and one gig of RAM, mm -hmm. uh, this thing is definitely ready to be upgraded to ice cream sandwich. I don't know if uh, if it will be. Yeah. There's no word on that or whatever. It comes with Android 2.3, mm -hmm. and it's it's not a top of the line phone, and the price reflects that. I mean, yeah, but again, I don't know, dude. You know. For a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor, unspecified, they won't say who's right. manufacturing it, but I'm gonna guess it's either a Hummingbird, like a, a Samsung Snapdragon, a Snapdragon phone from Qualcomm, a Snapdragon processor, or a TI processor. I'm leaning toward Snapdragon. Uh, and one gig of RAM, that does not sound like a mid-range phone to me. I mean, yeah. it sounds like a well, higher end phone. It, it's not, it's not the- It's like, just the screen that's lower yeah. end. So it's not like the 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 top phone. No, it's the higher end, but yeah. it's not like the top. And for seventy nine dollars, seventy nine ninety nine with a two year contract on Amazon on uh, Verizon. Yeah, or one bad. penny from Amazon. One penny. Yeah, but the problem is you can get uh, something like the HTC Resound for fifty bucks rate right from Verizon with yeah. a two year. So the HTC Resound, uh, you know, that's got a seven twenty p screen on it. Yeah, and it comes with the Beats by Dre headphones. 
Oh. 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 So, oh. you know, Verizon's kind of uh, hurting themselves here. Uh, but, you know, as far as uh, the, the kind of phone, though, I mean, I honestly think that with this coloring on the back, uh, it's probably targeted more towards women. Yeah. I mean, it's a four-inch screen, which seemed large a while ago. Uh, but now, you know, once you've handled bigger screens and everything, I mean, this is a four-inch screen as well. Yeah. Uh, but once you've gone to that, uh, like the Galaxy Nexus, the 4.65 inch, you know, or you know, some of these 4.7 inch screens that are rolling out now. So, do you think this is targeted at women with that that reddish? I do. I mean, like the color. color I don't know if it's picking up on the uh, gadget cam. There it is. A little bit. It's like um, a rose color. Gray. But that is, I mean, that's just not a manly back. Yeah. You know. Uh, it is what it is, I guess. I guess a smaller screen. I mean, a guy could know. use it. It would, like it doesn't like stand. It's not like hot pink or right. something like that. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely not like a a non man phone, but it just you know it seems like it's more targeted towards women. Yeah. So, especially with the advertisement that they have. I mean, it's a, oh, the really? LG Spectrum that they that we reviewed before uh, has a man on the commercial, yeah. and with this one, it's a woman on the commercial. So. Yeah. You know, the LG Spectrum is a little bit larger screen, so I don't know if that if that's all done on purpose. Demographics. Who knows? That's right, people. Uh, well, that's the show. That is. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. We, uh, we'd like to see what kind of phones that you like, or if, you, if there's a phone that you want us to review, just send it to us, and yeah. we'll take it and sell it on eBay. <laughs> no, just kidding. No, uh, get a hold of us on Twitter. Uh, twitter.com slash android tech show yep. is the address for that uh, we also post full episodes and extra clips on youtube and you can find that at youtube.com slash android tech show uh, and we are sponsored by the blueberry podcast network uh, which is uh, just a bunch of other people making podcasts that they like to do you can find that at blueberry.com b-l-u-b-r-r-y yeah. com. and once again uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors because they've been supporting us for such a long time Big go to time. meeting knocking it out of the park man. yeah long time sponsors we're glad to have them back yep yep so thanks for watching everybody and we'll be back soon with another review Boom, we're out. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I was doing that too. I had in my head, I was just like, this is the exact noise. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>